definitely do not know this, but Japanese cuisine also boasts of a curry. It has something to do with the British influence on Japan and teaching them how to make a curry right. This Japanese golden curry is delectable and I'm going to show you a shortcut version of it just if you make the spice blend rule and keep it in advance. I'm making a Japanese mutton golden curry so into my stock pot or rather a large cast iron pot I'm just going to add about 20 ml of extra virgin olive oil and as that gets nice and hot into that I'm going to take three leeks just cut into the largest shards put that in along with about half a kg of carrots cut into large shards and some baby potatoes as well about 500 grams just put it all in and allow it all to cook together. This is really a shortcut quick fix curry. Now because I'm trying to make a quick fix version, I've taken a kg and a half of mutton bone in, put it into the pressure cooker with some water, heavily spiced it with about 8 cardamoms, 8 cloves, 8 black peppers and 4 bay leaves. Gave it one whistle, switched it off, reserved the stock and the meat. All I'm going to do is take that meat now and put it right in. You just allow all this to sear together on the highest possible flame for about four to five minutes. And while you do that, let's talk about that roux that I've been raving about. Now I always have this roux that is lying in the freezer and how do you make it? Let me tell you. You take about eight heaped tablespoons of either some butter or some regular cooking oil. Bring it to a nice robust temperature. Into that you add eight tablespoons of refined flour and allow it to brown on the slowest possible simmer for about 20 minutes. You want it to get that dark, dark auburn color. Post that into that entire roux that is created. You take four tablespoons of this hot curry powder and one tablespoon of that gorgeous Indian spice blend. That's the Indian garam masala. Just cook it all really well till it comes perfectly well together and then set it in a tray, cut it into cubes and leave it in your freezer. This comes so handy while creating a quick fix curry. Now remember, this curry is nothing like our Indian curries or rather the Thai curries. They are mildly scented but they are perfect. Once you see the leeks turning a translucent luscious green colour, it's now time to take that stock that we created, about a litre and a half, and just pour that right in. It's hot, so let it come to a robust boil. As soon as this comes to a roaring boil, I'm just going to drop these spiced roux into it and watch as the golden colour unfolds. Now if you want to thin down the consistency, go right ahead, either add some more stock or water, but look at that gorgeous golden hue in this lovely curry. All you need to do is, if you want to spice it up more to suit your palate, either add a teaspoon of yellow chilli powder or just go right ahead and add some chopped green chilies into the mix. 20 minutes of simmering this on the slowest possible simmer is all that's required and now all you need to do is switch the flame off. This pairs gorgeously well just with some steamed rice. The sharp licorice scents of aniseed, nutmeg and coriander from that hot curry powder is sure to get you riled up with the right flavours. Now the beauty about this Japanese golden curry is that you can use any assortment and still get it right. You can use some vegetables, you can use some chicken, you can use some tenderloin or go right ahead and use some mutton as well. This is perfection personified in a curry. And the best part, it's done in about 30 minutes flat. 
I hope you enjoyed creating this one with me. A quick fix, easy peasy dinner done in 30 minutes, especially when you have those last minute guests that you want to entertain. Don't forget to share loads of love by hitting on the like button. Stay safe, stay blessed, and don't forget to leave a note below.